welcome in a new video by DJ's PRC. We have our slash 4x4. What I wanted to show you today is how to remove your A arm off a slash in front. Uh, basically, one of the first thing you will need to do is there's two ways you could remove these two screws in front of the bumper right here that's here because uh, we will remove this part now you could come and remove these two screw here and keep this in all in one piece uh, personally that's what I do because you're gonna need to remove the two hinge pins that holds the physical uh, A-arm on. Okay. Now the other thing too I'm going to do, I am going to remove this tire. You will need a, oop, a seven mil. There we go. Uh, if some of you are wondering what kind of tools I'm using, these are MIPs. Loved them. They were great. Never had issues with them. Now we'll need to remove these four here. And if I remember correctly, they are 2.5s. Yes, they are. And like I said in some, some previous videos, I always try to remove less stuff as possible off the vehicle. Re reason is I don't need to put a bunch of stuff back. Now, we'll have on this slash, it is an ultimate. Uh, the ultimate comes with the sway bars. That's an extra step we'll need to remove. Uh, we'll remove the sway bars, the shock, the steering link. We don't need to remove it. Only thing we'll need to remove is this guy here too. And if I remember correctly, this is a 2.5. And screw the hinge pin here. You'll notice too after a while it doesn't continue unscrewing because it's not fully threaded. It's only threaded to here. And then we're just gonna pop this out. Basically, you're gonna take it, pull it towards you. Now we will need our two mil for the shock itself. Always helps when you keep your screwdriver on your screw. Put that aside. Now we're going to do the link. And the link is 2.5. No, it's not. Okay. For some reason, I'm confused here the link seems to be the ball and on it seems to be damaged yeah because I can do it I can undo the other side yeah she's damaged I'm guessing hitting a rock or two too much. Damaged the physical ball, I see it now. 
Here we go. What happened is I'll be a little bit hard to show you on camera. On the physical X itself, I'm not sure if the camera will want to focus here. Uh, this is this X, okay? Hexagon. Uh, and one of the sides basically got hit by a rock or something and bent itself. That's why I could not insert the screwdriver. Now our arm is flopping. You'll notice in your front here, you do have the blue bar. And I'm just gonna grab the link, not the link, but the... Uh... This pin, hinge pin. Remove the hinge pin and physically your arms in your hands. Pop the new one in. Repeat the step you just did backwards. Put your arm in. Insert your hinge pin. Sometimes they need a little bit of coaxing. Now, this blue bar should not come off. It is screwed in the middle. That's why I did not bother. Don't need to remove it. The hinge pins I can I can remove without removing that. And now again, it's basically repeating the step we just did. I'll need to change that link. But it's still good for another while. Now, do remember where your shock was and if you can't remember it is in third hole uh take a look on this side basically this side will be same thing as that side just reversed vehicle insert this back in Making sure everything's fine. And it is. Find our link. Not our link, but their hinge pin. Grab our 2.5. And basically screw it in. It will go in. Grab a bumper, insert it. Just make sure it is keyed here. I do have a video how to remove your front bumper. Now I'm just gonna re-screw this guy in. Again, like I was saying, if you need to do the other side, it's the same, same, same thing. Just reverse steps. And like I said always, I try to remove less stuff as possible. Now, if you guys have any questions or comment, post them below. I'll be gladly to answer you. And don't forget, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I do appreciate it a lot and I, it does help. And don't forget to subscribe. That helps a lot too. And if you, if you think it's gonna help one of your friends, share it. Thank you for watching.